Good day. Trooper Cody and Steve, one of our War Horse videos. And this video is about Operation Sea Lion. I give them a pause there because I want you to think Operation Sea Lion, why does that ring a bell? Depending on how well you know your World War II history, you'll know that Operation Sea Lion was the invasion planned by Adolf Hitler of the United Kingdom. A planned invasion of the United Kingdom and it's a war horse video. So was Adolf going to use cavalry to make his channel crossing and invade the UK? Well actually what happened is that early in World War II gliders were first used to transport troops, German troops. They were very successful in a, taking a fort in Belgium at the start of the war, gliding in troops. Adolf thought this was a great idea. What a great way to invade the UK but they needed much, much bigger gliders. So he, in January of 1940, said to Junkers and to Messerschmitt, I want you to build me an enormous, giant glider that can carry at least 150 fully armed troops Carry a tank. I want this to be the biggest thing that has ever flown. So very straight away, these guys clearly don't disagree with a man with a small moustache. And they set to work 24-7, you'd think, so he gave them 14 days. And at the end of it, Messerschmitt came up with a design for this giant glider that was going to be called the Mouse. So they set to work building this enormous glider. But of course the invasion of Operation Sea Lion didn't go ahead. And then it was thought, what if this enormous glider actually had engines on it? We could fly the troops and the tanks and the armoured cars to the battle zones. We'll, we'll do that. So, they then didn't want to use German industry as far as taking engines from Messerschmitt 109s and Messerschmitt 110s. All the important German aircraft had to keep using the Mercedes engines. So, they know, they'd taken France by this time. And there was a, a gnome engine the French were making. So they got these four of these engines and they put them on this huge glider called the Messerschmitt 323. The Messerschmitt 323 giant, not the mouse. The Messerschmitt 323 giant. When they put these four engines on this enormous aircraft, it couldn't take off. They then had to rig up other Heinkels, twin-engine bombers, that would be connected to this huge aircraft with cables, and these planes would help it to take off, and then four engines still, and while it was in the air, it could fly and land. And at that time, it was able to do 130 30 miles an hour for an aircraft that was incredibly slow and very vulnerable. So what they decided to do, they'd whack two more engines on it. They would have six of these gnome engines and that way it would be able to carry, uh, it would be able to take off by itself. So that's what they did. So the thing about this aircraft is then that the stemmed from Hitler wanting a glider, a huge glider, 
it ended up being able to be a engine propeller driven aircraft. It was so enormous it could carry a payload of 13,000 kilograms. It could carry 130 fully armed troops with all their equipment. It travelled at 180 miles an hour. It could cruise, that was its top speed, it cruised at 150 miles an hour. Why have I told you about that giant glider that was converted into a transport aircraft? Only around 200 were made. None of them survive, which is such a tragedy that there's not one in a museum. In a German aviation museum, they have one of its wings uh, some distance out to sea from Crete is a fully intact version deep in the water, but uh, you have to be an exceptional diver to get to it and it is a long way from land. None of them survive. The thing about it was, was that it, the entire front was huge clamshell barn doors that opened wide to allow access into this huge body. In trying to help keep the weight down and the simplicity, it didn't have a retractable undercarriage. It just had a mass of wheels on the bottom of the fuselage that it landed on. And the whole point of this story is that the myth of Blitzkrieg and how mechanized the German army was in World War II is a myth. They had some spearhead tanks and armored cars that raced ahead. Everything that came behind, heavy artillery, carrying food, carrying shells, carrying ammunition, carrying weapons, clothing, horse-drawn, horse-drawn, horse-drawn. Main thing, heavy weapons, horse-drawn, in Russia, in the cold, no food, because of the snow, no fodder. What did this plane, this huge plane, end up being most used for? Could carry such a massive payload Cody's a quarter horse. He's a bit short and stocky, but he's still nothing like a heavy horse, like a Clydesdale or a, a, a whole range of heavy horse. Big, heavy, muscular horses. The German army was desperate for heavy horse at the front to tow their equipment. And so, this giant 323 was able to take 20 five heavy horse, that's the limit of its payload. When you think what those horses weigh, 25 of them was right up there on 13,000 kilograms. They could put 25 horses in and get them faster than a train, safer than a train because the trains were being targeted. And what was the point? They moved a lot of horses on foot. What's the point? By the time the horses got to where they needed, they were stuffed, they were worn out. And so that's why You'll see the thumbnail that I've used for this video shows some German soldiers loading the heavy horse into that Messerschmitt 323 to be flown to the Eastern Front where they were so desperately needed. Bit of a different, bit of an unusual video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Till next time.